So anyway, I have a new boyfriend. He's 12. I don't know whether to kiss him or burp him. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Okay, listen. Craft is one of my all-time favorite games. It's fast, it's exciting, and it can get pretty loud sometimes. Like my last marriage. Woo! But come on, step right up, and we're going to show you how it's done. Yeah, old mama needs a new wig. Woo! Crafts is played with two dice. The lowest number you can roll is two, and the highest number is twelve. The average table is about the size of a large billiards table and accommodates up to 16 people. Although it looks complicated, both ends have the same diagram. The middle section is used for proposition bets, such as various one-roll bets and hardway bets, which we'll talk about later. Some casinos have a box person who sits in the middle behind the table and puts all the money in the box. He's in charge. He also examines the dice if they're thrown off the table. Then there's the stick person, who retrieves the dice and gives them back to the shooter after all payoffs have been made. In addition, they call out the number on each roll and let everyone know when there's a new shooter. Now that you know who's who in crafts, you need to know what's what. Before play begins, the shooter, the one who throws the dice, selects two dice. Each must roll all the way down the table and hit the wall at the other end. Whatever the shooter throws determines whether the bets are won or lost. Oh, wow, shit, like it's all in my hand. You got it. Okay, here we go, guys. Come on, come on. Seven. In craps, you're never betting with or against the house. You're always betting with or against the dice. The first roll of the dice is called the come out roll. If you bet on the pass line, you say the shooter will make the point. A bet on the don't pass line says you think the shooter won't. Now, if you do bet the pass line and the shooter rolls a 7 or 11 on the first roll, you win. If a 2, 3, or 12 is rolled, that's craps, and you lose. If a 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10 is rolled, then that number becomes the point. The shooter must roll that number again before a 7 is rolled in order to win. Now, betting don't pass is just the opposite. You lose if the first roll is a 7 or 11, and you win if it's a 2 or a 3. 12 is a push, and no one wins. You win if a 7 is rolled before the point repeats, and you lose if a point is made before a 7 is rolled. Uh-huh, okay, um, that sounds pretty simple. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, really, it's not too tough. Oh, and once a point is made, you can make a totally separate bet. It's called a come bet, and it's independent of the established point. It means that the next roll of the dice becomes the start of a new game for you, and all the same pass line rules apply. You can also play the build. In crafts, playing the field is a one-roll bet that says if a 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, or 12 is rolled, you win. You place this bet in the area marked field. There are many other betting options in crafts, such as place bets, proposition bets, and horn bets. Just ask our friendly staff, and they'll be glad to fill you in. If you haven't played crafts, give it a try. Fortunes can be won on one roll of the dice. Or in divorce court. <laughs> Let's face it, love is grand. Divorce is a hundred grand. Woo! <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs>